screen here. So I just brought up the settings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click down here in support. This is how you turn it on. Eventually, I'm hoping like in a week or two or maybe a month, you won't have to do this. Okay. Look at the authoring version. I'm at 2315. Okay. Is that the stable version? It is 2315. What you want to do is go up here and select the very latest version. And I think two days ago it was at uh, like 1310. And then yesterday morning when we did a live stream where we were creating user defined functions and doing some wild stuff. So if you guys want the long view, go check it out. I'm going to click on this latest version. I'm going to, I'm going to hit a, a reload and apply version. 1314. So you I'm guys happy. see that? So when you go in there, make sure, because sometimes it will switch it up on you and you didn't ask it to. So I at least wanted to mention that. I'm going to click on upcoming features. I'm going to click on experimental and I'm going to scroll all the way down or you could type in user defined and you should see this. Now it's going to say something once we do this. This is dependent upon this other feature being turned on new analysis engine. Okay. So I have to click. Okay. Then I go up here and I type in engine. Oh, well, there it is. What is it going to tell me now? A pull, a full page refresh is needed. So this is a little different than what I saw before, huh, Kurt? Yeah. Okay. So that's on. I'm going to close. Now, maybe what I should do, Kurt, while we're at it, we just make sure, you know, we, we enable that, that engine. I want to turn this on too, because if it comes back and everything's nice, I want to start working with it and not have to do this stuff over and over and over again. I'm going to hit save again. And when, once it's done saving, I'm going to exit out and then come back in. Is yes, I'm going to edit that project. All right, here we go. Let's go into the settings. The first thing I want to see, we have 2315. Something tells me that's not the right version. It's not. Let's uh, let's take a look at it here. Um, and we do have the 1314. I'm going to go to upcoming features. I'm going to go to experimental. I'm going to scroll all the way down and it is enabled. So I'm going to run with it, Kurt. I'm not going to. Let's run with uh, it. Yeah, let's, let's do it. <laughs> I'm going to create a button and we'll do a quick little test here. And I'm going to go to app formulas. There's a few parts to this. So I always want to prefix all my stuff with FX. Okay. And we'll say, um, test. <laughs> We're not going to pass any parameters. I just want to make sure it actually works. And so I'm going to say uh, now, and I'm going to put on here. Eight time stamp. That, that should be useful, right? So what I need to do is tell it what the uh, return value is. And I'm going to say text. So guys, we're going to go through all these things, all these elements. But I just want to make sure that this thing works. And uh, what I'm going to do on this button is I'm going to say notify. I'm going to call that function. And hopefully it works. I'm going to save it. I'm going to run it. I'm going to hit the button. And this is just a test to make sure that it actually works. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. So what we did there, we showed you how to turn it on and some of the frustrations that you might encounter while turning that on. But hopefully you will uh, see victory, success like we have. Hey, if you're getting anything helpful out of this, a comment or even a like really helps the channel. And that's people like you know.